Today's video is gonna be very quick. I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious chicken sandwich with a little twist that makes it slightly more interesting. So I'm not sure if this is exactly the same chicken burger that caused all the fuss in the US, but it still looks pretty damn good. Um, it's a big piece of chicken, and like awesome chicken crust on it. There's a piece of bacon, some lettuce on there. Let's give it a bite. That's actually extremely juicy, tender. That perfect crunch, and the vegetables are nice and fresh. So the question is, if we are to make this at home, can we make it better? And I think I can put a twist on it to make it closer to what I look for in a chicken sandwich and something I think you guys will enjoy at home too. Let me get a few more bites of this because this is actually pretty good. Woo. Chicken sandwiches have been all the rage in the past couple of months or year rather when Popeyes launched their chicken sandwich. People were going crazy fighting in the US over who can get it and all these stores are running out of stock and everything. And now because of that craze, there are chicken sandwiches in absolutely every fast food chain. So I thought it'd be the right moment to just show you how I like to make my chicken sandwich at home. We're gonna make a very classic one and then put a little spin on it by making a salted egg mayo, which I think will tie up everything absolutely beautifully. So first thing we wanna do is we have some chicken, so I'm using some dark meat and some white meat. The dark meat actually has more juicy flavors, like a little bit of skin on is not a problem. Some fat, make sure you keep that on there as well. Um, I got some buttermilk and sour cream here, and then some chili powder. Just mix all this together, and then all this stays covered in plastic or in a Tupperware for about 24 hours, or maybe actually no, sorry, it stays at least overnight, so about eight hours in the fridge. For our breading, we're gonna keep things very simple. I got some flour over here. I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some paprika and then some salt, so a nice pinch of salt. We're gonna take the chicken that we prepared last night um, and basically to help get you those flakes that you're used to seeing on chicken sandwiches, you just take a little bit of that marinade mixture and kind of just drizzle it on top of the flour. Mix all that together. That way you have those big pieces of crunch that you look for and not just kind of like a crispy skin. So texturally it'll be a bit more interesting. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken, place it into the flour mixture, cover it completely. And it's super important that the flour goes absolutely everywhere at this point. And do the same thing on the other side. You really want every nook and cranny of that chicken to be coated into this mixture. Just like that, you actually don't want to shake off the excess at this point because all of that is flavor and texture. Now we're just going to wait for our oil to heat up. We're looking to bring it to around, I've got it set right now under 180 centigrades, which is more or less kind of like 350 Fahrenheit. Our oil is perfectly hot. We're going to slowly drop in our chicken pieces. This should take anywhere from six to like eight minutes to cook. Really key is to make sure to not overcrowd the deep fryer or else the temperature will drop dramatically and you won't get the crunchiness that you, know, you want. I'm gonna interrupt this video really quickly to talk to you guys about Skillshare. So if you haven't heard of it yet, Skillshare is an online community and learning platform where you can get tons of classes and lessons online. Whether you're creative or an entrepreneur, they have everything you need on there. The premium membership, which I have, gives you absolutely unlimited access to every class you would want to take and every community that you want to join. I feel like if you're ever blocked creatively and you've kind of lost that juice, taking classes is a great way to kind of find that inspiration again and to just refuel your passion um, because learning something, whether it's directly correlated to what you do or not, will always ultimately help you at getting better at what you're currently focusing on. I've been taking the Create a Short Documentary Portrait class, which is given by filmmaker Lane Macmillan Sheldon, who shows us how to structure, shoot, and share a great story balancing both cinematography and authenticity in short films. It's really been helpful in putting together our new series, The 81, where we focus on a dish, but also a person, um, and that person who is putting together that dish. 
Skillshare is also incredibly affordable when you compare it to face-to-face -face classes and you save a lot of time as well. Um, the annual membership will set you back about $10 a month, which is actually pretty good. So because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, um, if you click the link in the description box below and do that really quickly, you'll get two free months of premium membership on Skillshare. So if I were you, I'd swipe up. Okay, now back to our chicken sandwich. This would not be complete without a good sauce. So instead of like a very straightforward mayonnaise, I'm gonna go ahead and make kind of like a salted egg mayonnaise. Um, and that should be really good and delicious. So you know how there's like that shrimp salted egg in Singapore um, and you have salted egg everywhere actually nowadays. Uh, one of the key things is when you're using salted egg is to make sure that you're actually adding a little bit of sweetness. Um, so that's why I like using condensed milk, which is quite popular in the Singaporean preparations of a salted egg. So these are salted duck eggs. We actually only need the yolk. So we're just gonna peel them really quickly, cut them in two and just as much as possible, scoop out the yolk. It might be attached sometimes to the white, honestly, no big deal. All we're gonna do now is grab a little bit of butter, place that onto our pan, fry up some minced garlic, toss in some curry leaves. The curry leaves just add such a beautiful kind of like smoky flavor to the whole dish and right when it hits the pan, you automatically smell it. Now before the garlic gets too brown, that's when you can go ahead and grab your salted egg yolk. That gets placed into the pan, crush everything together, some condensed milk, some Japanese mayo. This might seem weird, but trust me, it works. And we just mix all that together. At this point, you can actually turn off the fire. All you're making sure here is that the yolk is completely kind of blended in with all the other ingredients. It's not gonna be like completely smooth, but that's not a problem. Give it a taste. Yum, that's so good. Oh, you got like that saltiness of the salted egg, obviously. Just keep that to the side. Next, we've got some beautiful burger buns. All we wanna do here is split them and then I'm gonna toast them in a pan with some butter just to get that beautiful sear. What's really important is the sear for me is key because we kinda of wanna trap those juices of the chicken and of the sauce. So we wanna make sure that nothing really penetrates the bun. We wanna keep the bun nice and moist and dry as it is and we don't want it to get too soggy basically. So pan, a little bit of butter, wait for that to melt and then we place the buns on top. Our chicken is basically ready. Just keep that to the side, wait for it to cool down a little bit. So now we basically assemble. Um, we're gonna cut up some pickles, just a couple of thin slices. Bottom bun down, a little bit of that salted egg mayonnaise on the bottom. Your pickles, look at how crunchy and flaky that chicken is. Oh, it's hot. And that crust has flavor, which is super important. But if you look at it now, that's why it was so key to make sure that um, we drizzled a little bit of that liquid onto the flour to make sure that you got those like beautiful ridges and that imperfection, for, which for me is super key with fried chicken, or else you basically just got a chicken coated in a little bit of flour. But here, you got that texture of that breading, of that coating, which is so key. That, for me, is a beautiful sandwich. If you guys don't want to try that, you are absolutely crazy. Look at that. Dripping, oozing with that salted egg. It's very simple to put together, which is one of the key things of this recipe. Look at that. Gorgeous layers. That is so good. It's juicy. 
Oh, that salted egg and those pickles together it just makes so much sense. And that chicken, perfectly cooked. This is a thigh, and I think the chicken thigh 100% should be the one you get. Make sure to get big ones, not super small ones, so that it looks really impressive as well. I'm sure the breasts will be just as juicy, but I feel like the thigh is really the clincher. You guys need to try this at home. I'm not kidding. I say this like literally every time, but this time I really mean it. So please try it at home, because it's really good. You'll be missing out if you don't. Thanks for watching.